In the wake of drone-led killing of Iranian military commander Qasem Soleimani, it remains to be seen how the airstrike will affect North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's move. The obvious point is that Kim might have been rattled by bold U.S. military action. In particular, some analysts say that the raid could be taken more seriously in that it was a decapitation operation, which Pyongyang is most sensitive to. So this week, Korea will look into the impact U.S. assassination of top Iranian general will have on Kim Jong-un's maneuver. For one thing, some observers say that the U.S. killing of Soleimani, the head of Iran's elite Quds force, could dampen Kim's maneuver. In his New Year's message at a key ruling party gathering at the end of last year, Kim Jong-un said the world will witness a new strategic weapon in the near future. He also warned of a shocking actual action while accusing the U.S. of stalling for time in pursuit of its own political interest. However, the high-value target killing of an Iranian commander approved by U.S. President Donald Trump might have sent out a stern warning to Kim that U.S. would take the military option if Kim crosses the red line. In fact, there was some speculation that Kim might disappear from the public eye like his predecessor out of fear of a possible U.S. attempt to assassinate him. Breaking such expectations, however, Kim embarked on a public move as he did in previous years. Kim visited a fertilizer factory under construction in his first field guidance of 2020, state media said Tuesday. The report on Kim's public activity came just four days after the death of the Iranian general in Iraq. This is quite a contrast to that of his father, Kim Jong-il. When the U.S. waged wars with Afghanistan in 2001 and Iraq in 2003, Kim Jong-il, then North Korean leader, had been absent from public view for 25 and 50 days respectively. This may have been possible because of the fact that North Korea, unlike Iran, is a de facto nuclear weapon state and has a strong ally like China. Therefore, Kim, showing off his confidence with his blood letter coat on, with a big smile on his face and a cigarette in his hand, can be interpreted as his intention to promote himself as a courageous leader against Trump. Kim chose the construction site as the destination for his first field trip this year, in an apparent move to highlight his drive for a self-reliant economy to overcome global sanctions. North Korea has claimed that it recorded a bumper harvest last year despite unfavorable weather conditions, but the lack of fertilizer amid global sanctions has been cited as a major challenge in increasing agricultural production. This shows that Kim does not care about the death of Soleimani, probably thanks to his personal friendship with Trump, while also proving the economic difficulties caused by sanctions to be as desperate. On the other hand, the prospect that Pyongyang could use the time to further step up provocations while Washington is putting its full attention on Tehran is gaining ground as well. As mentioned earlier, Kim already declared an end to his self-imposed moratorium on nuclear and long-range missile tests. And regarding this, here's what a former U.S. nuclear negotiator said. Some even argue that Pyongyang will use the U.S. drone strike in Iraq to justify its nuclear program as a necessary form of defense and take its own path toward a nuclear power. However, others analyze that Kim will control his breathing for the time being while watching the U.S.-Iran situation in that he is cautious about confronting Trump. What are your thoughts on this? Please let me know in the comments below and thank you for watching Korea Now.